What's up guys, my name is Tatus and in this video I will tell you about the successor of the leak camera tool from Skin Spotlights because as you can see here the leak camera tool is discontinued, you can't download it anymore because there is a new program out there. Skin Spotlights himself worked on the creator suit which is basically the replacement now for the camera tool. He tweeted out in February and even earlier about this new project of him and basically it will be the replacement for the camera tool so it won't come back but don't worry about it because it's even better in my opinion. Now you can download it here on this link, I will post it in the description as well. There are a couple of notes here and known issues, but mainly you can also find a link to the subreddit here where you can find lots of tips and the download link of course. So the subreddit features a couple of basically video editors or content creators which are using this camera as so you can get some help there if you need any. Other than that there is already a nice frequently asked question page here under this link basically and it basically tells you also some stuff and known issues about replays, um, the leak creator suit now of course or the basically replays themselves. So of course he still has the replays, the skin spotlights replays, those should still work but you can also of course use something else. For example I'm using LSI. Alright so once you've downloaded the tool and unpacked it, of course it's a RAR file I think or a zip file, you just have to get a replay, so for example with LSI the current version works for 6.4 League of Legends patch and I have a replay here, you have to start the replay, which I will do now then of course Alt tab while the window is loading and for example I have here the creator suit, for example as you can see I will double click that real quick and that should open in a second while the replay is loading so I will get a nice window with all these features which are in red right now but if it works correctly, they should turn green. Now you can see here, it's taking a little while so it doesn't go instantaneously, but once it works, you can see these one by one getting unlocked and you can use the features here. So for example, I can already uh, disable the HUD or disable the announcer. But what you also want to do is, for example, look at the other features. There are keyframes, you can set hotkeys for all the features, you can go to first person camera of course which is something you will definitely want to do if you're working on montages or edits. You can even have a skybox which replaces the boring black uh, sky which you can see usually in League of Legends. You can also set the sun location so you can have a different shadow effect. So because if you for example are basically looking at the sun from this, from this angle the shadow will be cast on a to the bottom right corner but for example this way it will be bottom left corner so it's just like a light source basically you can move around also there are some other features which I can't go into detail because I don't really know what they do because there isn't really um, a guide or something about this you have to figure some of the stuff out yourself however there is one good video out there already from someone else um, I will also link it in the description which has a little introduction guide which you can use but Basically, if you have used the camera tool before, it has the same features. You have to inject this DLL file which does some things and if it works, for example with replay.gg it doesn't work, then you can use for example a skybox. So I can set a skybox here which is basically something that he has worked on, skin spotlights or Uli, but I don't have to do anything myself, so I don't have to chroma key this tediously. Also for example I can disable the HUD and go to the camera. Camera mode is set to first person shooter. Now I'll be in this mode, I will minimize this window now and with the numpad keys you can control it. Now I'm using my left mouse button to hold it down so I can look around like this but I can't move yet so if I use my numpad keys I will be able to move around like this. So I'm using numpad key 8 right now. If I use um, for example 4, uh, four I will go left, if I use 6 I will go right, 5 will go backwards, I can also for example go up and down like this with 1 and 3 but you can always set these in the in the configs, in the settings so you can use your own hotkeys if you want and also of course a core feature are the keyframes, sadly I don't know why this, these numbers um, are not disappearing but uh, where is it? The keyframes are of course a key feature and you can of course set the hotkeys to add a keyframe or to remove a keyframe for example, I've used um, 8 and 9 to add and remove keyframes and then to activate them, to play them basically. So if I, for example, have the camera like this, then I press my add keyframe hotkey, which is 8. I pressed 8 just now. 
Um, then I think it's this window. Oh, which which one is it actually? Oh my god, yeah, it's this one. Then you can see there is a keyframe added with certain attributes. So if I move the camera now again, let's go a bit forward, for example, and a bit down. Now I press eight again. Now let's go forward a bit again and look at this this beautiful light or something. Press eight again. So I will pull the uh, program up again. You can see there are three keyframes now. And with the activate keyframes button, in my case multiply on the numcat, uh, numpad, you can see that it moves like this automatically. So I'm not doing anything right now. It has very smooth, of course, transitions. It's just great to work on montages or just beautiful cinematic videos. So that's about it. Of course, you can already see the skybox here. It's replacing the black sky, which is the norm for these replays. So for example, if I would go back to the sky menu, no, where is it? Client talk, I think, yeah. And remove the skybox, then it's it's black like this, but if you set the skybox, then it's has a nice background, basically. So I'm sorry that this is the, there the gold numbers are stuck here. I don't know why that is. That doesn't usually happen, but as you can see, it's a great tool. It's a lot of features you can use, also some depth of field stuff, misc stuff, for example, particle fix will slightly change the way the particles are looking or the tree outline fix will make them a bit prettier but then the water is kind of weird so I don't really know how, how you could use that but as you can see there is a lot of stuff you can do and I hope you will find this video useful as I said before let's let's end this right now um, if if you're looking for some answers to questions if they're not in this frequently asked questions I probably can't answer them either because I'm not the creator, I don't know if there are certain bugs or I haven't checked every single replay software and create a suit combination so I don't know exactly which tool is working which isn't but with LSI it works, I know that for sure and I have heard in another video from someone else who I will link below that the replay.gg replays they don't work with the camera tool software in a way because for that the DLL injection doesn't work I think and I'm not even sure if all these turn green but that's what you want because otherwise the features won't work so I hope you enjoyed this video as always thanks for liking and sharing this video and I will see you next time bye bye